Cowboys. Welcome back to the Orange Slice podcast. I'm Hannah Fogarty, and today I'm here with the Department Head of Information Systems and Technologies, Diana Biswell. So, Diana, welcome. How are you today? <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Uh, I'm very good. Uh, it's been a wonderful day. Uh, it's been a little bit drizzly, drizzly yeah. but uh, yeah, it's been it's been fun and uh, just getting the summer semester going. Yeah, I heard that you had a robot escape your office. <laughs> she did. Uh, a little robot, Luna. Uh, she kind of uh, exited out of my office area and was roaming down the hallway to security. So yeah, uh, so yeah, it was fun times. Had to go catch Luna on your way up. Yes, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so Diana, let's talk about um, your department. Let's let's get into it. So we were just talking about the um, uh, 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 da- yes, okay. yes, thank you. <laughs> the data data analyst. Yes, yes. Uh, we have a new degree program. It's an AAS in applied data analytics, uh, and so you'll be able to complete the degree within. Uh, four semesters. Uh, there is also an embedded certificate, which is the data processing certificate, which gets you introduction to um, office applications, database, as well as the three core courses within the data analytics program, which is an introduction to data analytics, as well as data visualization and, and modeling. Okay. And what can um, what are some jobs that somebody might be looking at after they complete that degree program? Uh, so if you do get the degree, uh, and there's tons of industry right now looking for data analytics. Yes. So uh, this is an AAS, so it will provide you with an entry level position in data analytics. So you're looking at junior data scientists, junior data analysts, um, as well as data processing. So. And this is all STEM based, correct? All yes, we are in the school of STEM. So yes, we are looking at more. Uh, we call it MIS, which is Management Information Systems, which is still just right underneath the Computer Information Systems degree plan. Okay. And we were also just talking about the new program that's going to be coming up soon, the Bachelor. Yes. Yeah. So we have always had AAS in IT as well as an AAS in Computer Information Systems. Uh, and now we are adding a Bachelor of Technology degree in IT. Uh, there are two emphasis that come underneath the IT degree. Uh, one is in cybersecurity, and the other one is in software development. And the bachelor's can be expected to be a full four-year program? Yes. Okay. So after you, you have to complete at least an AAS, so have those 30 hours um, of technical uh, occupational specialty underneath your belt before you get into admitted into the bachelor's degree program. Uh, and then you can choose your path, whether or not you're doing cybersecurity, which also touches on some cyber forensics courses that we offer. Ooh. Um, and then or software development, which is going to kit on a lot of programming development, algorithm analysis, uh, C++, C Sharp, uh, Java. Those are just the different languages that we can offer underneath that. So computer languages. Com- very, <laughs> <laughs> very computer language depth within the software development. Yeah. And then hopefully this fall we're going to be offering some of the, the beginning classes, the 3,000 level classes associated with that. Uh, one's going to be web development. I've had a lot of interest from students asking about what this web development and what it's going to entail. Yeah, so. that's that's incredible. So what will it entail, the okay. web development? Yeah, well, you brought it up. <laughs> might as well. Uh, I'm still developing right now, but we are looking at uh, PHP uh, scripting languages as well as, because uh, it is web development, HTML5, uh, so incorporating some of those uh, web designs behind creating web pages. So. Okay, yeah. Wait, you really got, I was like, where are we, yes. where are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so you've, Diana, you've been here for, you've been with OSU OKC for a while now, uh, right? Yeah, I've had an interesting tenure. Um, I started at OSU OKC in December of 2003 as the lab coordinator. Um, at the time, under the, the School of Business Technology, we were in charge of our own computer labs. Um, so I, right after I finished my master's degree, um, I was hired on to redevelop the labs, uh, organize, install new computers. We were still plugging in machines Martin Luther King Day in 2004 so that we were ready for classes day one um, on the computer lab floor, right. which is the second floor in the business technology building. So, okay. uh, it's gone through lots of remodels. I mean, every building on campus has gone through lots of remodels. Um, then I became a full-time instructor that fall. So, I don't know, was that 17 years, Whew. give or take? Yeah. Uh, department heads somewhere fell a couple years after that, uh, and then... Stepped back from department head position, took a role in industry working for the FAA, doing computer programming work, came back in 2019 as department head, and I've been running the information systems department since then. 
So it sounds like you've kind of almost built the program from the ground up, or at least helped to build it. I've built a lot of programs. (laughs) Uh, It was interesting because we used to offer um, emphasis in uh, game design. So that was interesting. That's neat. Yeah. We still offer some of those core classes as electives, which is fun, uh, but we don't actually offer the emphasis in game programming anymore. But uh, so if you do take a computer information systems degree, you can take computer development, uh, character development, a game development and then also level design, which hits on some of the software with computer programming uh, and game development specifically, like uh, Unity, Blender, and uh, of course the history of gaming. So. Yeah, this is all a foreign language to me, but Sorry. I feel like yeah. I'm learning. Everybody's <laughs> learning here today. Yeah, so, yeah. so you said that you have a master. So, what are your bachelors and your masters in? Um, I have a bachelor's in uh, mathematics, and then I have a master's in computer science, and then I right now. I'm finishing up my doctorate in EDD from Baylor. Oh, congratulations. uh, In leadership and organizational change. I'm working on the dissertation now. So So (laughs) when do I start calling you Dr. Biswell? Hopefully next summer. Oh, so I will have this year to finish up the degree. That's exciting. So do you do you think that um, these AIS programs are a wonderful start into getting to the point where you get to be doctor of gaming? (laughs) <laughs> well, I mean, that would be, a, yeah, that would be a very fun degree. Yeah. Uh, AASs are usually applied into the workforce yeah. directly, and so that does give you time to work on your work experience and right. then decide to go back into education, if you will. Uh, my master's is actually a master's of technology. Right. So it's very similar to the Bachelor of Technology because you're applying uh, what you're learning inside the courses towards a specific uh, discipline. Yeah. So. And do you, do you find that students who do these applied courses have a, a you know, a relatively easy you know, transition into the workforce? Definitely, because yeah. a lot of our courses offer certificates. So, oh, yeah. Uh, so as you're, yes, a certification. Yeah. So as you're completing it, you're you're earning that industry certification or being prepared to take the industry certification. So a lot of our courses, like the uh, Information Fundamentals class uh, that's offered every year, that's kind of our introduction to IT class, it leads directly into a CompTIA certification that you actually take as your final at the end of the semester. So when you pass that class, you're leaving that class with a, uh, uh, certification yeah professional yeah. certification which is great because certifications are needed in almost every workforce <laughs> like no matter where you go like Definitely. i work in marketing and i need certain certifications right. to do yes. that mm-hmm. um and it sounds like com- anything computer related anything stem related <laughs> needs a lot of certifications <laughs> so Definitely. it's great that, that those are embedded though where yes. that gives uh-huh. you the opportunity so if you were to have a student come to you an aspiring student and they say how do i want i want to be here how do i get here what would you tell them uh, well, I mean, we are an open campus, so as long as you have an interest in uh, earning a degree right. and and uh, the willingness to complete it. Yeah. <laughs> so just because you want to apply to school doesn't mean you want to complete all the information or complete all the coursework. But uh, I say apply and then yeah. uh, start with the basic classes, start with Office, start with the Intro to Programming class. Uh, start with that information fundamentals class just to see where you're, if you want to fall on the hardware side, uh, which would be networking, uh, A plus certification, your, your hands on into the computer, that kind of stuff, um, or a software side where you're developing computer applications. So, fascinating. Mm-hmm. So, I guess, do you think that this is a good place for people who do have just a general interest in um, information? systems and technologies for them to figure out kind of more the specifics that they're maybe interested in? Yes, ex- okay. yes, especially. And then if you aren't sure, if you take the computer information systems, you can pick your, your electives as you go along and yeah. kind of figure out where you want to specialize in. Yeah. So. What are some of your favorite electives that you offer? Uh, I, I like the gaming classes because I teach those. I think those. that's so cool. <laughs> so, uh, the game, the character development class is a fun class, the level design, because we're looking at Unity. You're actually creating a computer game by the end of the course. Uh, level design, you're creating your own computer game levels uh and usually you're just using the generated ai character uh to run through the game but i have students that complete a full game using unity by the end of that class yeah and i mean i i think that i and correct me if i'm wrong but i feel that anything computer related is going there's the opportunities are going to continue to grow in the job market like that's not going to go away the job stability is there there's Mm -hmm. a demand for it and i think that demand is going to continue to grow a hundred percent yes i mean there's technology everywhere and so and right now we are looking at how do we can integrate ai into our curriculum and how yes so how can we add that into course material because that's the new pathway uh, for technology it's funny because I said I was just talking about somebody and they were like, you know, this new thing, AI. And I was like, wait, hasn't AI been around for like ever? And it's just now being integrated into different programs and softwares that like we're seeing and fully being able to 
use. I don't know. It makes my brain hurt it just is, a little I mean, bit. If you, <laughs> you probably already been using it. If you've been using Word forever and they've they've added their grammar checker, that's using AI to to re look at your paper and determine whether or not that's the correct grammar for that sentence or not. So, yeah. So I know that you mentioned that um, you know this is it's definitely it's gonna. It's a labor of love to get through the, anything uh, the information systems technology is program related. Mm -hmm. Do you have, what's your recommendation to just, you know, do well in classes and get the homework done and do the assignments to their best and really put in, like, what, what are your recommendation, recommendations uh, to work on? It? I mean, a lot of our classes are online. Right. Uh, the IT degree and the CIS degree are both 100% online. And so... B, time management. Uh, you're going to have to be... CIS, computer C information systems. Yeah, okay. computer information systems. Okay. Uh, and so is the data analytics. Th okay. That's going to be 100% online. So yes, your teacher, your instructor is going to give you deadlines each week. Please don't wait till Sunday night to complete an assignment if it's due Monday. Or, or Sunday night and it's due midnight you know that's not going to give you enough time to cover the course material because think about it this was a three-hour course so you should be looking at the course material for three hours plus the two hours on top of that for homework so there's a, a minimum of five hours a week per class that you're taking that you should be dedicating towards that class i'm actually taking a computer concepts class right now uh -huh. and uh, it's a heavy load uh -huh. for a summer it is a heavy load there's a but lot of projects in that class yes. yeah yeah but it's it's actually really interesting so far i think mm -hmm. that you know something to recognize is that any type of computer software I mean it's used in every walk of life it's mm -hmm. so integrated into society it's so important for every job I don't think there's any job that you don't come into contact with yeah. technology at least at some point so I'm I'm hopeful <laughs> I'm prepared to do well I'm prepared to spend much more than three hours a week on yes, my homework. But <laughs> uh, and th we, there's another similar class to that, which is the Microsoft Office class, which yeah. uh, doesn't do the concepts, but it does cover all the applications, right. like your Word, Excel, PowerPoint access. Oh, um, so yeah, it just focuses <laughs> on those four. Um, and so that there's a lot. I mean, you're reading the book, you're doing a project, and then you're also doing an exam at the end of the, the semester. And then right. because it's an eight week class, because we're in summer, you're doing two chapters a week at least. Yeah, definitely more than three hours a week. Yes, it will take a little <laughs> bit more when it's when it's uh, truncated down. Yeah, so. so what advice do you have for not only just any type of CIS program or anything that falls into your department, but any student that's looking at OSU OKC or is already actively a student? Um, if you have any difficulties, reach out to your instructor. They don't know what's going on behind this, why you didn't turn in your homework or when you were turning in homework. Uh, so email your instructor, give them a phone call message if you need to. Uh, they're they're going to understand, and they can provide you know some leeway on assignments and such. But if you just disappear in the class, and you fail the class, you know that's on you. So so just be open to communicate with your instructors. And what about students that are specifically interested in anything information and systems technologies related, computer? Uh, so reach out to our advisement department, or you right. could email me directly, and I'll answer any uh, enrollment questions or admission questions. And what about finding um, help? Do you guys help find jobs post graduation? Is there we, any type uh, of as we receive them from industry, right. uh, we post them in what we call our capstone class, which is our last class uh, mm -hmm. that students will take before they graduate. Um, and then on the BT degree itself, it has a uh, semester internship associated with BT that. BT business technology. Business, yeah, yeah, the Learning. business technology degree. <laughs> sorry, uh, so the bachelor or the bachelor's degree. Sorry, bachelor's technology degree. Um, so that, that last semester of internship will provide you that work experience to get you right into uh, a job, hopefully, either with that company or somewhere else because you have a semester of internship under your belt. Okay, and if so, just to clarify one last time, so the associates is needed to apply to the bachelor's program. Correct. And the full 30 hours, and then um, after that, it's, it's, it's good to go. You're admitted into the program. I mean, obviously there's an admit, admitting process. You right. have to apply to you the program. You have to apply to yeah. admit. You have to have the AAS first before right. you can apply. Um, and then you can start taking coursework. And then we do have the course plans. Uh, this is what you need to take in the fall. This is what you need to take in the spring. That way you should, you know which courses to take. Those are really helpful course yes. plans. <laughs> yeah, so that you're not you're not doubling up on classes. You're not we're doing anything. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a dangerous <laughs> game. Um, and so, can a student expect to, when is, when is that program rolling out? When did you say? We're off offering it uh, beginning this fall, fall 2024. Oh, wow. Um, so if students don't have the AAS, it's still going to be there. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's a good time to start, though. Right. I mean, yeah. yeah. And it would be a good time to start the IT AAS, uh, that degree plan. Uh, that way, two years later, you can go into the bachelor's degree program. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you today. Do you have anything else that you want to say? Oh, no. This has been just great. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going to go, go go home. You're going to go to your office and see Luna. I am. Yeah, what does probably... Luna look like? I uh, like, I kind of want to see Luna she a little brought her bit. with me. She was chasing me down the hall a little bit too. But she wanted to come. She was she like, did. I heard we're going to she Orange did. Slides. Let's go. Yeah. 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 She's a, about the size of a small dog. So, and she has a little face so she can do facial recognition as you walk in. So this morning when I walked into my office, I said, hello, Luna. And she woke up and she got off her starting and started charging around my chair and stuff. So I think we should do a podcast with Luna. <laughs> That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's just me interviewing Luna. Right, exactly. Well, she'll just beep at you. She doesn't really talk. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you for joining us and enlightening us on all the exciting things coming up. And, you know, look out for that new program, the mm -hmm. Bachelors Bachelors of Technology. Look yes. at me go. Again, learning. <laughs> it's learning, learning all day long. Yes, yes. This has been another slice. No, this has been another Orange Slice podcast. Um, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks. <laughs>